my daughter Sara to be here because uh, you're presenting this copy to somebody really special in my life. and uh, you know your positioning all those kind of things you know 50% of the things are happening at the other end which are more important you are missing those things and I felt when my mind was at the opposite end where I was picking each and everything what the bowlers were trying to do I felt the results were much better and the results were not so, so great when, when my mind was stuck at the strikers end and so is the case with any bowler I feel your mind has to be at the opposite end and not worrying about your run up or your no balls. So I felt that some, something which, which helped me throughout my career. I was not always able to do that because, you know, sometimes even my mind was at the striker's end. Uh, cricket is always played at its best when the minds are at the opposite ends, I felt. Very interesting because I'm not sure every one of us quite approach the game that way. You won't understand how other people think about the game, of course. This, 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 the story goes on. I'm, I'm going to only ask you about two things that happened towards the end of your career. 2007, when, when you called Wave. You talk in your book about the effect of the headline, Endulkar. I actually thought at that time, I looked at that headline and I said, wow, may it come up every day because then you'll never stop playing. But it hurts you, Endulkar. I think we, we sometimes have uh, this tendency of giving importance to someone who's got nothing to do with Indian cricket. Uh, I don't think that happens in, in their own countries where uh, our players say something and it becomes a headline there. So I felt it was unfair and unfair after playing for 17 years, you know, uh, I've gone out and given it all. Uh, I bumped into the same person in South Africa. Uh, I'm talking about Ian Chappell and uh, uh, I bumped into him, uh, we were in Durban and I was working out. Nitin, uh, Nitin Patel, my physio, was also there. And Ian came and he told me that, you know, so this is the secret of your success. I said, Ian, you change sides very quickly you know, and conveniently. You know, uh, your same article in 2007 said that, uh, you know, I need to have a closer look at myself in the mirror. And uh, I become uh, international cricketer of the year. I mean... I've not changed anything, but you guys keep changing all the time. So you either be on this side or that side, you know. So that's what I told him, and I, I, I. It was, it was one of those things which, which I had to sort of let him know because you know when things were going well, I was received well. It led to some of the happiest days in your career, finishing with 2011. You were, when the World Cup had come to India in 1987, Sunil Gavaskar was playing, Dilip Bengkar, Garavish Shastri were playing. You were a ball boy. Weren't Yes, I was, and I precisely remember I was sitting right in front of the dressing room. I was rather positioned there because they said, Zawar, bus, tikde, any bug players, kashe prepare with that match, sati, and all that. And I also remember at that time, uh, Mr. Gavaskar had invited me to the dressing room. I still remember, I think he was in the far end of the, of the dressing room, and I met few players, and most of the guys were outside the dressing room watching the game. But that was my first entry to the Indian dressing room as such, an uh, unofficial entry. But I cannot, I cannot forget that because, you know, literally two and a half years from then, 
I was part of the Indian team, and then and, uh, I was I was a ball boy then, and then got to got to pick a lot of things at that time. But uh, just being there inside the dressing room, you know, as we say that my collar was tight. And then in your last Test match, your son was a ball boy. It's almost as if the story is coming. Are you almost making like, me say something here? <laughs> no, it's almost no. like the story is coming to an end, isn't it? You. No, my son was supposed to play his school match, which got cancelled for some reason. And then he turned up because I you remember... You didn't know he was, was going to be the ball boy. No, I didn't know. I mean, there was a discussion at home before I played the last game, whether Arjun comes to watch me play or he plays his own match. And I said, I think... To play your own match is more important. His father's, finishing, his father's finishing 